Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Ahmed Luigi bringing to you another episode of my Pokemon Pearl Let's Play. In the last episode, in the last episode, we took on the first gym and beat it. We battled Team Galactic and we won because they're so weak because they only use worm poles. And at the end of the last episode, we arrived in Floroma Town and that is where we left off. So let's let's go walk around and see what some of these people are doing. I got drawn here by the sweet scent of honey. Seriously, what's that? What am I? A Pokemon or something? Mmm, honey. Mmm, honey does sound good. Team Galactic again. Front one. Aren't we Team Galactic and we're assigned here? Standing around among flowers. This doesn't seem all that cool. Front two. Hey now, don't go win. This is a pretty decent assignment. But bug and grass type Pokemon so creep me out. I don't like being here either. Really? He's scared of bug and grass type Pokemon. They call themselves Team Galactic. And what's this place? Pick a peck of black. Yeah, pick a peck of colors. Flowers shop. Well, they purposely tried to make that a tongue twister. Let's talk to some of these people. I want to get some flowers from the Four Roman Meadow, but some Team Galactic guys in snazzy outfits came along. Those Galactic guys went to the meadow past these flowers here. Hmm. Went to the meadow. So that guy basically tells you where it's supposed to go. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Is there anything else here? Did I miss anything at all? Did I miss anything? Nope. He was referring to the battle that the Team Galactic guys are standing in front of. So, without further delay, walking around among these flowers, let's get on with this. Route 205. Help, help, trainer. Please, can you get my papa for me? He works at the Valley Windworks. The people dressed like spacemen are mean. They won't let me in. People dressed like spacemen. I wonder who those guys are. I wonder. Found a potion. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I ordered... I got orders to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're gonna try to get in. Yeah, then you have to battle me for it. Oh dear, Team Galactic just does not know who they're up against. Take on Gal Galactic Grunt, send out Glary L. See, this is why Team Galactic is pathetic. They're like the they're like the weakest team. They have Glammy Owls and Wormpools and all that stuff. So I decided to send out Iroh because he's the only one that hasn't evolved and I didn't I decided not to train in between last episode and this episode so I can like get some more leveling up to this episode, you know. 166. That's pretty good. Well that's really that did wow. That was way more than I thought. Yeah, like I'm really supposed to win with the Pokemon like this. You can't that's the thing, you can't win with the Pokemon like that. It's not just great getting over my some kid, but you can't do a thing if I look, if I lock myself in with the work key. That's right, the other work key's not here. My cohorts and the flower pads have the only other one. Haha, <laughs> and that's it. I'm no longer the loser. Dirt junk. Well, you are the loser and the. Never mind. And you are stupid for telling us where the other key is located. We, Team Galactic, are conducting research in the Eternal Forest. This is as far as you will go. Our research involves catching Pokemon in the flowery meadows of Floraroma Town. We're also using the energy of the Valley Wind Works for something. That has of no concern to you. Huh. Seems they will not let us by. Let's talk to this girl again. Please, friend, to get my papa from the Valley Wind Works. Yeah, I tried. I tried, but some grunt being a sore loser and decided to lock himself aside. Locked from the inside. Just to let you know, I do not remember what to do. I'm not gonna cut to anything. Conducting research as far as you will go. I, I thought that they were gonna battle us to get into Eternal Force. Uh, but that's of no concern to you. Yes, yes. Pretty sure I know what to do now. Pretty sure. Through here. Hey, look, I was right. He said, because because the grunt said that the only all the people that have the key are the ones that are in the flower meadow. 
Enough arguing. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon to great numbers. Hey, this kid. This kid is a witness. What do we do? We don't need the brat running off to get help. The solution is simple. We ensure the brat stays quiet. It's kind of funny how on Pokemon, the actual like fighting is a Pokemon battle. I find that kind of funny. Wait, so we battle both people or just one person? Just one person? Alright. Wurmple was sent out Iro. Hidden power. Iro is actually really strong. And he's he's gonna evolve really soon. Beat this one for one hit and he'll level up to 14. But he falls at level 15. Final 3 XP. See, Iro's level 14. Iro is level 14. Silcoon. Sukun, a Pokemon we have not seen yet. The evolution of Wurmple. Wow. Wow, Team Galactic, that's a real upgrade. Wurmple to Silcoon. Some upgrade you got there. Iroh, go ahead and use Hidden Power again to get rid of that Silcoon, and hopefully Iroh evolves. Or at least gets half, halfway to evolving. Because Iroh's evolve at level 15. Eat Galactic like Grunt. Do we have to do we have to fight the other one too? This is why I'm gonna be stuck a grunt as a grunt forever. It's not like you'll be a general or a commander because they already have them. They already have those and you'll be taken down, so. Doesn't matter. This is so lame. They're going to dock my pay. I'm up next. <laughs> Battling you right after my co cohort weakened you gives me the edge. See, I knew it. I knew we were gonna have to fight him. I knew it. Your child's like Galactic Grunt. Like the grunt sent out Zubat. Go, Iro. What will Iro do? Since we're running low on hidden on hidden power, six out of fifteen power points. But it doesn't matter. It's Iro's only move, and I don't care because I want him to evolve. And that was super effective, right? Since when is normal super effective to anything? Am I the only one that finds that kind of strange? That a normal type move was super effective against a psychic poison? Am I the only one who's still phased by that? Oh, he had one Pokemon? Oh, well that was easy. Yeah, some edge you got there. This rat's tough, like, really, really tough. Tougher than I could put into words, and I know a lot of words. We're done here, let's get back to Valley Windworks. Team, they got the Pokeball, but it's actually, and would you know it, a works key. Must be for the Valley Windworks. But no use to me, you may as well have it. Team, the works key, and you know where we have to go now, everyone. Thank you, you surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sh they sure were weird, though. You saw how they were dressed. They were saying they didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you. Will you take this as my thanks? Gain the honey. So, Team Galactic were trying to steal the honey, and you wouldn't let them, and so you ended up giving away the honey anyway. Some logic there. They used a lot of the honey on a sweet smelling tree, and might attract fuck on. So, we're pretty much finished here, and you know what? I think I'm gonna slide the honey on this tree over here. That sweet scent in here. Slide the bark with honey. Bark will slide with honey. And what honey does, you slather it on a tree, and then if you come back, Sometimes there's even more uncommon Pokemon there. So that's a good thing you might want to do when you get more honey. Uh, should I go to a Pokemon Center? Yeah, I'll go, to, go ahead to a Pokemon Center because Iro's PP is low and my Pokemon's HP is low. Would you like to rush your Pokemon? Yes, I like to rush my Pokemon. Wow, I only have three Pokemon. I thought I had more than that. If you guys do not remember, I said I was going to be catching the rest of my team soon. Um, I'm going to be catching a Magikarp, a Ponyta, and a Sneasel. The Sneasel is going to be like really far into the game, like all the way at Snow Point City. Well, technically in the Ac Acuity Lake front. But oh well. Wait, your Papa's in the Valley Windworks? Your Papa's in the Valley Windworks, then... Who is that old guy? 
Oh well. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Cause there's some Team Galactic people in here, I think. Use Zora's key. Kerchunk. The door to the valley and works opened. What? No way. You have the key. Locking the door was meaningless. I am those on this after all. Yeah, we told you that already. This is no time for self pity. Let's load the commander. Oh, alerting the commander, and you guys should know what happens then. And this, we're gonna be battling many um, Team Galactic members. If you're wondering why the screen is little, that's because of the side of the room I'm on, so that happens. You are challenged by Galactic Direct. No, I, I challenge him. I'm gonna send out Iroh because he's he's really good and I want him to evolve. But after he evolves, I'm gonna use him and the, then I'm gonna keep switching out between Pokemon too. You know, because I want other Pokemon to get EXP too. I'm still gonna be training in. Okay, rambling here. Sorry if I'm talking too fast. I'm still gonna be training in between videos, bro. Oh, he's level 15. Play it the Galactic Run. Wow, that was really easy. You messed up my job. Now I'm gonna get a. No, I'm not gonna get a bonus. You weren't gonna get a bonus in the first place. Catch a better Pokemon and learn how to battle, and we'll and then we'll talk. Wait, what? What? Isn't he supposed to evolve now or something? Because he evolves at level at level 16. I mean 15. Hmm. That's not right. Anyway, let's get going with this battle. You are challenged by a Galactic Grunt. Sent out Wurmple. Go, Iroh. Uh, if you're wondering why I named Abra Iroh, it's because for those Avatar fans out there, Iroh is actually the wise old firebender. So, I thought since, you know, Abra's psychic type and she's really smart. I decided to name him Iro. Cause you know, from Avatar The Last Airbender, that's a really good show. They had it on Netflix, but they decided to take it off for some reason, I don't know why, that was a really good show. Then they ended up making a series after, when, when Aang actually dies, and everyone else that discovered, discovered Katara, it's called The Legend of Korra. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, Ira won't flinch because of its inner focus. Ira's hidden power. Anyway, I was saying that in the Legend of Korra, it actually takes place, takes place after the war. Well, like, after everyone dies except for Katara, because she's still alive. And, um, and yeah, that's pretty much the basic summary of it. It takes place after everyone is gone, and it, and there's a new avatar and her journey. Okay, I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. We've both been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. A people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we Team Galactic will leave. Hello, well, Team Galactic, you might as well waltz, waltz on out that door right now, because you're going to lose. You're challenged by Commander Mars. Sent out Zubat. See? How are these people even commanders when they have Zubats? When they have stupid Zubats as their Pokemon. I would like Aura to evolve though. Could get a lot of- he should evolve from beating this Zubat right here. He should. 162, yeah he should. Come on, okay then. Heal what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do keep battling. Just watch. You should already know what I'm gonna do. I have him out, so he'll still get EXP. But then, oops, sorry. I send in a different Pokemon. This is actually the first time I'm gonna be using Roots as a Grottle. I haven't used them since he evolved, cause like I've been working on my other walkthroughs and I haven't had time to train in between battles. Anyway, I'm gonna go for a rock smash because it's a fighting type move and fighting is good against normal. 
and probably just scratching away at us, which is doing little damage. Even though Rock Smash is super effective, it still doesn't do much because, you know, Rock Smash only has like 30 or 40 power. What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? I'm fainting them, that's what I'm doing. Faint attack, that is a dark type move. And if you haven't already noticed, Perugly is the evolved form of Glammeow. And it's part dark, I think. I'm not really sure. Maybe normal dark. Pretty sure it's normal dark. But I don't know. And Razor Leaf finished off Perug Perugly. Perugly is right. Gained 313 AXP and Iro grew to level 16. Roots gained 313 and does not grow a level. Player defeated Commander Mars. This can't be. I lost. You. You uppity brat. Uppity. Mars. I don't even know what uppity means. What? Iro is evolving. Okay, my bad. All of a sudden I've been saying Abra's evolve at level 15 when they actually evolve at level 16. I'm just gonna like take my hands off these buttons so I don't press B. And... Congratulations, your Iroh evolved into Kadabra. And this will be the only time we see Iroh evolve. Iroh learned Confusion. Finally, we have another move, even though Confusion just makes them confused. Because, you know, it's Confusion. <laughs> Oof, I messed that one up. You sure did. That's alright, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. While wow, Mars actually was compassionate. But we will be seeing Mars again. They were saying that they had to gather Pokemon and energy and no matter what. It was for creating a new universe or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can tell you how I'm, how great I can't tell you how grateful I am for saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Papa Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Wow, you you're separated from your dad and all you can say to him is you're stinky and take a shower? Wow, you're Papa, you have such a nice daughter. Oh, sorry. Uh, they had me working nonstop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. And by balloon Pokemon, there's only one balloon Pokemon, and that is... That is Driftbloom. Oh, yes, a balloon Pokemon. A balloon Pokemon appears in front of the woodworks. It's always a certain day of the week, but I'm not sure which day. Could its appearance have something to do with this woodworks using wind-generated energy? Thank you, Chan. You made the bad people go away. Okay. Now let's get out of here because we've done what we had to do. So, can you believe we've taken 5,182 steps in this game so far? Wow, we've taken a lot of steps. Route 205. And since we got that done, we can go ahead and go up here. But first, I need to check something right quick. Sorry, but I just need to check something. Very quick. Okay. Wow, level 8 Biru? Wow, that's surprising. You know what? I'm not gonna battle this guy. And there's a newly evolved Ibra. And take that Ibra. Which is the Ibra. Is the guy turning? Nope. Side of the sweet honey on a sweet smelling tree. Pokemon may be attracted to that scent. Uh, trainer, I thought you could only look left and right. I was going to go on the other side, but... Alright. If that's how you want to do it. You are challenged by Camper Jacob. Ponytail. Yes, I already said in this video, Ponytail is what we'll be catching, and Ponytail will be able to be caught to the right side of the next town. You know, to the right. Not like, you know, like, not like right as in correct, but like right as in right. What am I saying? You guys know what I mean, you know, it's a good... Ugh. Use tackle. Tackle will not take down Iro. I hope. Get it, go hit. I will use hidden power. Hidden power is still the only move Iro can use, cause, you know, he'll learn other moves. 456, he will definitely level up now. Yep, you see that? He leveled up again. 
think he's like the strongest Pokemon so far. No, Roots is the strongest Pokemon because he level 18. That's when he evolved. That really dampened my spirits. Well, you're the one that challenged us, so it's your fault. Not mine. Oh, I really have to go through this grass. Really? Really? Okay, you know what? I'm going to switch to Flight because Flight needs some training. See that? 14, 18, 17. Flight is still 14. Let me train him some. I think I can find a Ponyta on here. If I do, I'm going to catch it. The Weasel. No, the Weasel, you are not what I'm looking for. Lights intimidate cut the weasel's attack. Run away. I don't like you, weasel. That's why I'm running. Can I get past this guy without Nope. I have to battle him to get that Pokeball. There's no mountain here, but I'm I'm dressed to a hike. Ha 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 ha. You are challenged by Hiker Daniel. Wow, he has four Pokemon? Oh my goodness. Well, he's a rock hiker person, so yeah. Maybe it, was, maybe it wasn't such a good idea to, send, to use flight. Considering that he's a rock type trainer. Yeah. Anyway, quick attack. I'm still going to use flight, though. Because, you know, whatever. And you did use rock throw. Uh, don't be flight, don't be flight. Okay. Flight, you have awesome defense. Well, not it's not a defense. It's just how strong you are. Three levels higher than that, Juju. Tackle. Wow, tackle did less than quick attack. You know, I'm just go. I'm just. I'm just gonna go ahead and use wing attack because that's probably my best bet for beating the Juju with fight. Wing attack. Good, it didn't miss. Did you see that? Um, not very effective move did more than two, um, um, normal amount of moves. Both of them combined did less than a not very effective move. And thus, I'm just gonna keep using wing attack. He has four Pokemon, so, you know, I'm gonna have to switch out to make this battle go by faster. Not very effective. Mud Sport increases rock and ground type moves, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Electricity was weakened, which means ground will do more. You know how some people think that electric is... You know how... Wow, uh, okay, let me start that over. You know how electric is good against ground? Well, some people think that electric is also good against rock, because it's, you know, close enough. But ground and rock are not the same thing. Electric may be good against ground, but it doesn't mean it's... Um, well, electric may not affect ground, but it doesn't mean it won't affect rock either, because ground is actually... Super effective against rock. Surprisingly, I was surprised when I found that out. Re here recently. Okay, now that the ge now that that geo dude is done, I can switch out from flight. Cause flight, you're just taking too long. You you did good, but you took too long. At least you leveled up. Hacker Daniels about to send in geo dude. Yes, definitely switch Pokemon. I think this guy has. I think this guy's all Geodudes. Pretty sure. Send out Geodude. Geodude, Geo, Geodude, Geo. Absorb. Roots needs the help. Health. Did I say help? I meant health. So if you do have his energy drain. Yeah, I think this guy's all Geo dudes, and I'm glad I switched to Roots, cause oh wait, apparently he's not. So I better send out Flight. Flight going up against that Geo dude took a long time. Sent out Machop. I'm just gonna. Get this battle I want to get this battle over with already because this uh, video is long ish wing attack to get rid of Machop and yes Machop is down but the Hiker still has one Pokemon left 
They get to see you do her another matchup. Redo. That was unexpected. Really, it really was. You know, I'm gonna keep in flight because he's still really low level. So I'm gonna keep him in. Wing attack. Oh, come on. You couldn't have just beat him in one hit. Flight, if you lose to level 11, beat him. Okay. Hope this works. See, of course it worked. What am I saying? Hoping it would work. Of course it was going to work. 136 EXP. Oh yeah, refreshing battle that was. A refreshing battle that was. And we get really all of that just for an X attack. Yeah, that was not worth it. I know for a fact you can catch pony pony toss in this area. I'm gonna skip around that guy. Uh Pokeball down there. I'm gonna get that given time. Can I sneak? Ask this guy. I'm gonna get the Pokeball. The Pal. Send the Pal. Okay. I made it. That's just a rest house for if you need it. I'm probably gonna use that. I'm probably gonna use that. Eternal Forest. So. Now that we've reached the channel for us, this I'm gonna end it off here. This has been and uh, this has been episode what five? Episode five of Pokemon Pearl I Metal Luigi. Um please subs please please like, comment how I did, subscribe to my channel, do anything you like, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright? Have a good day.